going on guys? It's the Rager here, or Mason. You guys have been asking for a story time, so I'm going to give it a try. This is about the time me and my friends broke into a abandoned house. We got caught and almost got arrested. This took place over a year ago, right when school got out for summer. There was a park in my neighborhood, and usually a few times a week, everyone in my neighborhood would come out, hang out at the park, we'd play football or play on the swings or whatever. One day, I went over to the park to meet up with some of my friends. We played football for a while, then they told me they wanted to show me something. Cool, and I said, okay, what is it? They said, follow me. And so I followed them. We were walking around my neighborhood, and we came across this abandoned house. And I said, what are we doing here? And they said, come inside. And I was a little worried, and I told them it wasn't a good idea. They were like, come on, Mason, nothing's going to happen. So I went inside. It was all beaten up on the inside, and there was junk everywhere. We were messing around, punching holes in the walls, and just breaking stuff, being idiots. And then we heard a knock on the door. We all froze, and then someone started opening the door. So we ran out the back door. We all went back to our homes. And this is how I learned about the abandoned house. A few weeks after I learned about the house, I had my girlfriend and a few buddies over. We were at my house, and we didn't really have much to do, and we were bored. So I was like, hey, you guys want to come see something cool? And they were like, yeah, why not? So I took them to the abandoned house, and... The front door, door was bolted shut, and there was no way of getting in. So we walked around the back. The back door was also bolted shut, but my friend noticed the screen. There was a screen door. We tried it, and it wasn't locked, so we pushed open the screen door, crawled inside. When we got inside, my friend DeQuavia had seen a TV, and he said to me, Hey, don't you need a TV? And I was like, Well, yeah, I could use a TV. So I grabbed the TV, I plugged it in, and the TV worked, so I planned on taking it back home. We were just walking around the abandoned house, messing around, just, you know, being idiots. And my girlfriend had a mini drum, my friend DeQuavius had an Xbox controller, and a hat. My friend Henry took a bike wheel, and I had a big TV. We all took our stuff and walked out the house, we went through the screen door again, and it was about 2 p.m. in the summertime, so there was a whole bunch of people out in the neighborhood just walking, watching us walk around with all this stuff. And so there's this big field right before my house. We call it the commons. And there was a guy out there cutting the grass, and I just thought it was a normal person that worked in the neighborhood. But it wasn't. It was a person that worked for the neighborhood. And this guy already knows me, and I've been in trouble with him a few times already. And he looks at me, all my friends, and he looks at what's in our hands, and he goes, Hey, where did you guys get the, all that stuff? And then he goes, Hey, let me see that. And then he starts yelling at us, and he goes, You got that from the abandoned house. Why do you have that? How did you get that? And I told him that my friend used to live there, and that he let us have this. But he didn't believe me at all. He said, that's bullshit, and told us that we had to go put everything back, or, we were, or he was calling the cops. And for some reason, just out of instinct, I just yelled, fuck you, to him. And then he looked at me and screamed, I'm calling the cops. And my friend Henry is like, I can't get in trouble, I can't get in trouble, we gotta go put this stuff back. So we start walking back to the abandoned house, and we're about a street away from the house, and we... And we can kind of see through people's houses, and we can see the abandoned house, and we see the owner of the park sitting there in her car. She turned and looked at us, and I didn't know what to do, so I just said, run. So we all dropped our stuff, and we ran into the park. And once we got into the park, we were like, what do, everyone was like, what do we do, what do we do? So I said, uh, let's, let's go through the woods and go to the park next door. So we start walking through the woods, and we start to hear sirens, and we start running through the woods, and then we find out that the sirens from are from the neighborhood that we just got into. We see a cop car at the entrance of the neighborhood, and my friend Peter lived in the neighborhood that we just ran from, so I called him, and I told him the situation we were in, and said he would come pick us up. About ten minutes go by, and Peter hadn't gotten there yet, so I called him. 
no answer. So I called him again. He didn't answer again. So then I called him again. He finally answered. And he told me he fell asleep and that he was going to come get us. He finally gets in the neighborhood and we hop in the back of his truck and he floors it out of that neighborhood. And we get back into my neighborhood. And as soon as we pull in, we see a, car, a cop car behind us. And nothing happens. We just start driving by. And then the cop turns on his sirens. So Peter pulls over and the cop comes up to the window. And he says, we're looking for teenagers that just stole from this neighborhood. Have you seen them or do you know anything about it? My friend Peter said, no, I haven't. We just got back from movies. And the cop looked at me, all my friends, and he looks like he's about to say something. And then his walkie goes off, something about a fire. And the cop walks off, gets back into his car, drives away. So now we think everything's okay. So we decide to go back to my house. We were right. Nothing happened after that. It's been over a year and we still haven't gotten in trouble for that. That's the story of the time me and my friends almost got arrested. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.